Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are solving another lead code problem that is 1353 maximum number of events that can be attended. Before jumping into the solution, you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes before watch this solution. So what problem is asking is attend the maximum event. Attend maximum event. To attend the event, there is certain condition that that day should lie between the start time and the end time and while doing that you can attend only one event at any time t so in order to get the maximum event attended you need to have two things to be considered the start day the end day end day so to attend maximum events logically if we think we will be would be starting from the event that starts first starts early and but it doesn't mean that start early doesn't mean it we would be able to attend maximum event because an event can stretch much longer so we need to have event that end early end early so these two things clearly understood now how to how to uh, use these observation to solve this problem in order to handle start early sort it according to start because start will make that clear that it is in increasing order and whichever event we are on it is the minimum for that particular so and how to handle and easily will be priority view priority view priority view why priority view why basically need of priority view because there may be two events starting at the same time but they may not end at the same time so so how to get the event that end early is the way done using priority queue I hope that much is clear now what would be our algo for solving this problem basic sort according to start why already discussed traverse With the condition i is less than n or or q size is greater than zero while doing that while doing that insert all the ends ends of the ends of the event which follow this condition the day the d the start the start sorry start time is less than the day insert all of them insert the end of them insert plus increase the index why because we don't want to be on the same event again and again we have to move forward that's why i plus plus and pop at the top what we would be having is the minimum end so 
also specify or determine or show that this event is finished so when this event is finished increase our uh, event counter take another name result plus plus that we have done one event also the day is increased that as it is known in particular day one event can be handled and one event is done so day has to increase and while going out and while going out delete all the events that are less than the day because why because that event is gone nothing nothing is to be considered because something that is gone is gone so and also also one thing how to determine that day because it is not always start from day one it may start from any other day so take while the priority queue is empty for the very first time take the very first that is present in the vector after it is sorted that much is clear take a example let's take example one two two three three four one two sort one two one two two three three four how to determine a when priority queue is empty take the very first day is one result is r zero insert how insert is happening less than equal to day day is currently one these two are one also i increased from here to here i increase from here to here what is the condition of priority q2 to popped one day is done also the result one event is done and while going out and while going out pop this is for insert now day is to pop less than the day two is not less than the day it is equal so it will not be popped again I was here because these two are processed. I will be here. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, I would be here again. Days two. Days two. This is less than two. Less than or equal to two. Condition is there. I will be here. Right. You will be having three. Three is greater than, so it will not be inserted but this time this will be popped day is three day is three task is two uh, i plus plus this happened i plus plus this happened priority queues okay result is two days three pop whichever is less than equal to day day is currently three so three will not be popped again now day is three insert this will be inserted i is over here what is the priority queue condition is this this will be popped day is four task not task event three events are done but 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 i discussed it the 
condition for going out of this whole computation this whole computation is that i should be less than n and priority q should be should be zero one condition is false but this is still true because 4 is still inside again nothing will be inserted because i is over here but what would be done is it will be popped a will be increased and the result will be 4 why i did cross it the result will be 4 so i hope i was able to make you understand the algorithm let's see the code very basic thing as discussed as discussed you can understand i for iterating the indexes d for day n is event size of events vector result that's how many events we were able to attend priority queue of min type while the condition of all the computation when for the very first time when the priority queue was empty take the d or take the event which is present at first while doing this after doing this not while take all the insert all the events and according to the start the start which is less than equal to d the current day and pop pop the uh, event that has been attended plus plus the result plus plus the day and also and also pop the 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 events that have been already ended and keep on doing it till the pq size is greater than zero or, or i is less than n and after that return the result very basic thing let's submit it and see if it is running or not yeah it is running quite fast quite efficiently so you guys are awesome keep grinding keep grinding see you in the next one bye